Wumps with the game's first goal, scored by Diotis on the setup from Joyce. May have actually changed directions twice right in front of that goal. But French with an important first goal here in this game. French has played a lot of very closely contested games. One outlier that game against Weymouth where obviously French dominated from the start. Work it down the sideline now. That one knocked away from McPhee. Getting a stick in there now is Joyce. French are trying to steal it back. A couple of players getting her away. And that'll be another whistle going against the Wildcats. So French are enjoying a 1-0 lead. As they give possession back. Trying to chase that one down with McLaughlin getting a stick on it now. Will be Carey. Down the sideline, last touched by Braintree. So, about four minutes to go here in the first quarter. French are trying to hold on to the one up and lead. Work to the middle. French Hill goes to the backhand. Trying to switch fields and finds the open player. Diuti up ahead. And now Branchy with a chance up the field. It's McPhee. She has very good speed. Now trying to use her stick handling. Nice little pass around the defender. As this one shot towards the goal, and it will go out of bounds wide of the net. <laughs> so this one will be restarted. 15 yards out. for a centering pass. And now we will see the game's first penalty corner. Frank, had a lot of those in the last game we did here at home. So far here on the possession, Sprinch is still trying to work it to the middle. Goes out of bounds. Sprinch trying to backhand it to the middle of the field. Picked up by McPhee, able to keep that one just inside the field of play. And now it goes out and Milton will try and send it away. Mark. One minute, one minute, Memphis. Under a minute to go now here in the opening quarter. And this one will have to be kicked wide. First test of the game for the Braintree Netminder. As the possession will stay. Milton's favor. This will be a penalty corner here towards the end of the first quarter. Here we go, Milton. Pass. 
pass up the top for the shot now. And that will hit a player and that will change possession as that should just about do it here in the first quarter with the final seconds draining off the clock. Braintree dumps it deep down the other way as the ball will go out of bounds. And that will just about kill the clock now. And this one goes out of bounds and the first quarter comes to a close with Braintree scoring the game's only goal to this point on a goal by Diuti assisted by Joyce and a one nothing lead for Braintree as we continue our coverage. In a moment, we'll be back for second quarter action here on VCAM TV. back to Braintree High School here beginning the second quarter. A 1-0 lead for the home team as the Wamps getting a goal from Dayuti. The only strike of this game. I also ran the coverage as we continue our live stream broadcast here on Braintree Field Hockey against Milton. Possession back. This one pinballs back over midfield. Trying to move it past the Braintree defense. Defended by Lee. They're giving way. He's trying to make a play is current. Back in the Braintree defensive end. The whistle before the cross. Second penalty corner of the half for Milton. Braintree had one back in the first quarter. 
Pass up top. Shot and a kick save. Nice stop and goal. Big save from Corcoran. Most important stop in the game. Had one right at the end of the first quarter. towards the goal as the Wamps continue to have to play on defense. And we will see yet another penalty corner. So the second already here on the possession. This branch has been pinned in on their own end here. That's up top and Branch are you getting a stick on that one as Lee got the stick on it to block it. And now on the far side, Curran lets that one go out of bounds. That possession will be up top. Milton trying to get one here to tie the score. They've had the ball for a while. She's done a good job of, for the most part, keeping everything on the outside. <laughs> so, Ranchi will get it back now. <laughs> Trying to clear it down the sideline. Looking for the cross. Milton again takes the shot and Braintree again able to redirect it wide of the goal. Good battle going on there with McLaughlin. And Braintree will get it back. Milton has really controlled the play here in the second quarter. After Braintree was pretty much the better team in that opening quarter and the only goal of that quarter. Not a good clearing attempt, but Braintree gets the next touch. Right along the sideline, kept in play. And the pass connects this time. Trying to use the middle of the field, redirected by Braintree. Now to the far side. And whistle against the Wumps. corner coming up. Continues to be the call here in this second quarter. Brent is really playing with fire. Continuing to allow the opponent to have these opportunities. Well, they have the advantage right now. Brent will have to come out of their own goal to defend. Back up top. Clean lane to shoot. That was deflected. And it is going to be Brent for possession again. Looks like Curran got a piece of that one Just up around the head. Field. And she just can't clear it away. Possession stays on the attacking side. Smelton looking for a shot. Trying to release. And a kick save. Scorker again able to read that one through traffic. 
Somebody needs to be able to find a way to get it out. Because right now, things aren't necessarily on the rancher side. Stop for a moment to adjust the clock. Nice takeaway by McLaughlin. He dribbles it right down the sideline, continuing up the field. And and we'll continue to move it further down. Sprinchy trying to make something happen now. They haven't had the ball much here in the second quarter. Trying to take advantage of a rare time on this side of the field. A lot of room now. And this is carried up by Brock Meyer. Chance for a centering pass. Couple of Brancher defenders in there. Yeah. And it will be yet another penalty corner. So a furious attempt here to get the tying goal. We go red. Probably six of the minutes here of this quarter have been spent just about right in front of the Braintree goal, but somehow it has stayed a one nothing Braintree lead. Swing and a miss on the shot attempt. Now trying for the release. And Curran able to work it to the sideline. They're back into the Braintree defense. As McLaughlin trying to keep it in bounds, cannot. Across. And Branchy will get possession back. More than halfway through now, the second quarter. Sent back out, kept in by Burchill. Some room in front. Nice takeaway. Frank, able to get it back. Just backtracking a little bit, looking for somebody to pass it to. And the only spot was in the middle of the field where Milton was able to read it well. Taken right out of the air, and again, deemed for being dangerous. Because that one right around the head is. McLaughlin was able to take it out of midair. it down far side losing possession but Braintree staying with it right out in front Dayuti the only goal scorer of the game trying to send it in front and it will be a Braintree penalty corner so Wumps who haven't had the ball on the side trying to make something happen here off a of set play Between the tandem of Dayuti and Burchill connect for a goal in the last couple games. See if it happens again. Going to the backhand, can't release the shot. And it goes out of bounds. So Brentry leaving a good chance on the board. Not getting off the shot. Four minutes to go here in the first half. 
Archer with the only goal to this point. Stick work by Joyce. And Braintree now works to the far side of the field. And I'll continue up. Stenman. Let's work back towards the midfield mark, and again the Braintree defense. And play pass. Nicely controlled by Joyce. He continues it up the field. Now McPhee. McPhee with another attack of Freeman next to her. And it's left for Joyce. Braintree nearly tripped down. in possession. Nice takeaway by Freeman who read that one, but then it hit her foot. So Branchy gives it back, and they didn't give five minutes, and now Branchy's is going to be carded, I believe. So Branchy will be carded there for the second time for getting in the space of five yards, although I don't know what Freeman was really supposed to do there. He restarted it right away and didn't really have time to move out of the way. There'll be a player up for a couple minutes, and it's just about a couple minutes to go. Played to the sideline by Carr. Sprancher doing a nice job here. Slowing down the rush. Down the sideline. Lee trying to slow it down. Get off the post! Get off the post! Defensive current trying to get a stick in there. And now it'll be McPhee. McPhee trying to dribble right past the defense. So far doing a nice job before it was taken back. And knocked up the field by Drain. The opposite side now by Mylod. Looking deep in the brain tree ends. Trying to send it in on goal, and it's kicked away by Corcoran. Come on, Red, minute and a half. 90 seconds to go. Nice. Whistle goes in Branchy's favor. Good time to use some clock here. Again, still down a player as it's played to the sideline and out of bounds. The shot is released. And from too far out, it's going to be a your ball. Branch overruns it. No chance. The other direction. Not much on the shot. The pass out in front and going just wide. That's Corker and keeping a close eye on that one right next to the post. Branch has a chance to just drain out this block. 15 seconds left. As the centering pass is controlled by Braintree, and that will close out the first half as Braintree still with that one nothing lead. They scored back in the first quarter on the goal. 
And Francie scored by Daudi on the assist from Joyce. And that is all the scoring that this half had. So after 30 minutes of action here at Francie High School, a 1-0 lead for the home team. As we'll take a break in between halves and bring you back to the third quarter after this. Is this the fourth quarter? The fourth quarter even started?
Back to Prentry High School as we are set to begin the second half. One nothing lead for Braintree. That's the opening shot going wide. corner. As the opportunity goes by the board. So they'll try it again here on the penalty corner. Down a goal here to begin the third quarter. Continue our last year's broadcast here of Braintree Field Hockey. Here against Milton. And the shot going wide.
Just a going in Braintree's possession. Long trying to clear it down the sideline. And it goes all the way down the sideline and rolls out. Clock will continue to move with just over 12 minutes to go here in the third quarter. So a lot of action left here in this ball game. Churchill coming away with it. And working along the sideline, plays it all the way back to the last line of defense. And Stenman looking to return the favor. corner. Second already here of the third quarter. Adjusting the goal back behind Brentry goalie. They look for the back post and a whistle before the shot. Gives possession right back to Brentry as the chance was there. But again, Milton not able to get a stick on it and send it home. And the story here in this game is Brentry now has a chance with an odd man rush. Three on two developing but losing possession. He's trying to hustle that one down the field with Chen. Under 10 minutes left now <laughs> in the third quarter. Still, that one goal is the difference. Scored by Diuti for the Wamps, who scored back in the first quarter. Really love an insurance goal We're in this third. Give themselves a little breathing room. Hoping for a victory here today, trying to get one back for a loss here at home to Needham. Entry off to a one and three start. Two of those four games decided by a goal. Entry trying to keep it in bounce and they cannot. As McPhee was there right on the end line. possession just over the midfield mark trying to add to that one nothing lead but keeps going back and forth right here just trying to possess now nice takeaway Joyce unfortunately had that one hit her foot 
Brought back the other way. Work down the far side. The carry. Seven twenty to go. Here in quarter number three. She clings to that one goal lead. Middle of the field. Just past the stick of McLaughlin. That one was out of bounds before the centering pass. Players in the midst of a collision, and Brantry gets the call to go their way. So at midfield, it'll be carried up. As Joyce sends it down. Brantry with a couple of touches after. And the sticks getting tied up. They continue to battle. Frenchy cannot clear from their own side of the field. Inside the 30 now. And Milton will try and tie this one up. Breaking past the last line of defense was Joyce. Getting it up ahead now for McPhee. It's kicked out. Ranger hasn't had a shot in a while, and they'll get a penalty corner now. A chance to add to their total. Right now leading 1-0. Side. And whistle going against Braintree. Off the penalty corner. Another opportunity going by the board. Three minutes to go now. They're in the third quarter. Still 
one nothing lead for the Wamps. Trying to get that second win of the year. Both of the wins, if they hold on here today, would be here at home. McLaughlin sends it towards the goal. It's kicked out as Carey had a chance. Sends this one to the far post, and it goes just wide. Knocked back out, just shy of the midfield mark, but Branch will keep it in. Putting there, right along the sideline. He's the middle of the field. Branch, we had that one read well. Nice passes. And Braintree now with the chance. For 10 yards out. Laughlin trying to dump it in. Getting a piece, and that one unfortunately got a piece of the foot of Chen as well. 90 seconds to go here as the sticks tie up. Third quarter. It's Braintree's lead still at 1 0. Just that one goal back in the first quarter. And just about 40 seconds to go. Clear. Cannot get it past the defense. And now along the sideline, McLaughlin trying to kill some precious clock. Final 10 seconds now as Branchy looking for a chance here in the final seconds. And the defense able to slow it down, clear it back to midfield, and that is going to do it here for the third quarter, which comes to a close. And Braintree still holding on to that narrow margin as we head to the fourth and final quarter here at Braintree High School. The Womps trying to get that second win of the year. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to Braintree High School, start of the fourth quarter. The Wolves trying to hold on to the one goal lead that they have now. They'll try and close this one out. Let's see if we see a second goal in this game. Obviously, Braintree in no hurry right now with the clock on their side. Haven't been a ton of shots in this game. Braintree certainly has been outshot. But they capitalized early in the first quarter. And now that's all they need. Still a long way to go. Send this one to the middle of the field. Some players were open in front, including Freeman. So whistle goes against Braintree, and are they going to get carded here? It looks like they may. She's going to use a timeout after the card. So the branch will be a player down now for a handful of minutes. As we will see play resume in a moment after a quick timeout here. Resuming. Rancher did call the time open. Certainly didn't seem like they got much out of it. This ref had the players go back right onto the field. Milton is a player up. Rancher in the box for a five yard violation for the second time. ball back. Every time they can get a whistle, that'll be huge. Try and kill off this penalty. Set down the sideline. as this one sent out of bounds. Right in front of the Braintree goal as this one sent to the sideline by Perfetti. Or at least attempted to get to the sideline. Laughlin deep in her own territory. Able to turn that pass looking for Stenman. The two sides lock sticks, and the call goes in Branch's favor. Middle of the field, Burchill able to just poke it forward and get it to midfield. Trying to clear it back towards the sideline, it goes out of bounds. And it will be a Branchy ball. Sideline, and that one's going to carry him all the way out of play. But 
that does kill some precious time on the clock, obviously with the running clock. Dribbles right past the defense. Now trying to ladle it down the far side, Stenman. Move it to the middle. Able to do so. Gets a good bounce in Branchy's favor as it's loose in front. And it will be a Branchy penalty corner right in front of the goal. Let's see if they can capitalize here. Good time to cash in. Set up top. Here is Burchill. Sends it back. Stenman trying to release. The rebound still is there. And it's sent to the sideline. Frankie wasn't able to get a good shot off. Time goes out of bounds. And out of bounds off of. It looks like one referee had one call, one had the other. So this Branchy possession. Using the middle of the field. Knocked back to shy midfield, picked up by Curran. Right up, Red. Go with the Red. Come on, Megan. That was for Freddie now in the midst of a race. Trying to slow it down, and it will be a branchy ball. So just over nine minutes left. Branchy still down a player. Goes out of bounds on an errant pass. Ball is at the top of the semicircle. Get in the way here. This could be a dangerous spot for a shot. Been a frustrating call there against Milton. I believe they played it before the whistle. corner. Continue to get opportunities here. Second half. So I'm trying to pot one. Rangers lead still is 1-0. Which is what they had back in the first quarter. The pass is still up top. And Rangers will get it back. Disadvantage in this case. Go, Red, we gotta push. Trying to close things out as Branchu will continue. Right on it, Red, right on it. So the Wumps continue to try and make something here defensively because they have to play on this side yet again. So it will be red ball. 
Milton continues to try and find one for the final six minutes. Centering pass, trying to clear it away. And Braintree will get the whistle against him again. Maybe another penalty corner. Just over five minutes left now. Wildcats have been scraping away, trying to get one. Back up top. Looking for the shot, it got directed away by Lee. Got a stick on it. And now Branchy gets the ball back. Just got a special delivery as well from the first tailgate here for the field hockey team. Aaron's putting on some grilling. Waters, chips, I believe there was coffee as well. Really a perfect day for it as well. Temperature somewhere around 72, 73 degrees at the start of this game. As this one out in front going just wide and the game was just nearly tied up. Ranchi holding on by the skin of their teeth with four minutes to go. Slowed down by McPhee, who gets it right back. Andrew now trying to work it on the other side of the field. It's obviously right now the most important thing is to keep it away from their own goal. As that one is cleared to midfield, but no further. Milton continuing to just bring constant pressure. Brantry just trying to hold on. Work back in, and an opportunity now for Facey. As Braintree works it towards the sideline on the play by the defense of Curran. Centering pass to the back post going just wide as Braintree will try and track it down. In that far corner, it does go out of bounds, and it will be Braintree possession. Just under three minutes to go. Braintree has been penalized a couple times for being a player down for that five yard infraction. First time was a warning, the next two were penalties, which is one of the few things that we have seen called this season as far as a penalty goes. Continuing to click off. 2.15 remaining and Braintree trying to work it down the far side. Two minutes, Brad, two minutes! Actually, if they could, they'd just love to clear it away. Now would be a good time to do it. Laughlin trying to carry it down the field. Getting a stick on it. Right right players right on the sideline. It's alive by McLaughlin. That one hit a foot. That play continued. Surprised they didn't call that one. And now Burchill switching to the other side. Over to Joyce. They smacks it down the field. And Branch will continue with possession. And 10 left in this one. Branchy will 
get possession. Trying to put a goal in here. Put this one away here in the final minute. Holding on to that one goal lead, which they had back in the first quarter. Corcoran trying to hold on here for another shutout. Half minute to go. This one goes out of bounds, and now Milton trying to hustle. Sent to the far side, Branchy trying to take it out of midair. As Joyce had that one knocked away for a moment, now it'll be Carey to send it down. Work back, just shy of midfield. Branchy trying to kill off the final quick, 10. Quick, quick. Nice work by Burchill to take it away, and that is going to end the ball game. So Braintree with a one nothing shutout here today over Milton in a very close battle here today. In a game that Milton may have been the better team here today, based on time of possession, they certainly had controlled that second quarter after Branchy scored the first goal and the only goal of this game on the goal from Diuti from Joyce. So Branchy getting just the one, all they needed back in the first period. And that will give them their second win of the year to move to two and three. Milton with another loss by a single goal. So that'll conclude our coverage. Thank you for watching here today on VCAM TV, our live coverage of Braintree Field Hockey against Milton. On behalf of our camp person here today, David Eric, I'm Mike Wassel. We'll see you next time.